everybody. Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 1, Unit 18. We're going to start with the duple meter song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Duple meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, day, do, do, to do. Do, to do, day, do, to day, to do. Do, 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 ta, to do, day. Do day do ta do day do. I'm going to sing Russian folk song one two times. The first time, would you move like you're sad? Bum ba ba bum ba ba bum bum bum. Are you going to cheer me up? That's very nice. This time, would you move like you're angry? going to sing handkerchief dance do, so, so, me, do, ti, do. the first time would you move like you're a soldier this time would you move like you're snow white we're going to learn our song to sing for this unit, which is called Slovakian Folk Song. Do, so, so, me, do, ti, do. Would you just move your arms in circles, please? Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns, please, that are in the song. Sing those same patterns on solfege, our tonal syllables. So, fa, re. So, fa, re. Do, mi. Do, mi. Do, mi, so. Do, mi, so. Do, mi, do. Do, mi, do. Now I'm going to sing just the first phrase or the first half of the song, and I want you to listen for the ending, the ending pattern of the first phrase, and echo it after me. I'll sing just that part on our soul fish. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, do, mi, so. Do me so. Now I'll show you the pattern that ends the second phrase or the second half of the song. Ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum do me do. Do me do. 
Now I want to show you one other thing that happens in this song before I have you try to sing it with me. Right away at the beginning we have ba ba bum bum, which is the same as our tonal pattern. So fa re. We just sing so two times. So so fa re. Would you sing that with me, please? So so fa re. Now this time I'm going to sing the whole song, but I want you just to sing with me. So so fa re. Whenever it happens. Bum bum bum, sing with me. So so fa re. Bum 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 ba bum 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 bum. So so fa re. Bum 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 bum. All right, go ahead and join me in singing the whole song. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 ba bum 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 ba bum 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 bum. We're going to do some tonal patterns in major, and just like we did last time, do, so, mi, do, ti, do, you're going to sing a creative response to my patterns. So I will sing a pattern in major tonality, you respond with any other pattern in major tonality. So I'm going to sing something from our tonic or our dominant chord, tonic being do, mi, so, we're in the right do, almost, do, mi, so, or something from our dominant chord, so, fa, re, ti. So you respond with something from those. So what I'm going to do, just like last time, I'm going to sing something. I'll give you a moment to think about what you might want to do, and then I'll show you something you could have done. It's not the right answer. There are so, so many things that you could do. So after each one, I'll give you an option of something you could have done. But there are many, 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 many things that you could do in response. Okay, here's my first pattern. I'll let you think about it a little bit and then I'll sing something that you could have done. Do, are we on syllables? We are on syllables. Okay, try again. Do, mi. So you could have responded with mi, do. I'll do another one. Do, so. Think about what you want to do. You could have responded with do, mi, so. How about so, re. Could have responded with so, re, ti. How about ti, so. You could respond with Mi, do, so. So when you respond, it could still be in the same chord, so it could use the same syllables I'm using, or you could do a different chord. You could use different syllables than what I'm using. So I'm going to give you four more, and I'm not going to give any response at all, just so that you have lots of time to think about what you want to try. And then when we have our group class check-in, please let me know how this went. I want to know how comfortable you were trying different things, and then I'll give you an idea of how you could practice this at home. Okay, four more, and I won't say anything afterwards. Do, so, me. Re, ti, re. So me do So try different things. Let me know if this was easy, if this was hard, if you enjoyed doing it, and I want to hear some of your responses. Now, ways that you could practice this at home. You could listen to the pattern CD 
and I don't have the track number written down for this section. So this is going to be way at the beginning. This will be, go ahead and look at the beginning of the pattern CD. You're looking for major tonality and you're looking for neutral syllables or tonal syllables, either one. I think, I won't tell you because I don't know which one it is. So you could listen to the pattern CD and after they're done with each one, you could pause it and then respond with something else. That's one way that you could practice. Another way is if you're playing our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, you could play something like do, mi, so, and then sing something different back. So, mi, do, mi, do, so, so, do, mi, so, do, are just some of many, many things that you could do. Same thing with so, do, mi, do. Just play a couple of those notes. and then try singing something different back. So those are a couple of different ways that you could practice at home. All right, now I'm going to play Down Came a Lady two times. The first time, would you please move to macro beats and micro beats in duple meter? And for macro beats, you could do what we did just now, where your toes are on the floor, you're alternating having your heels up in the air. You could also move like you're tapping a balloon, keeping a balloon up in the air. Make sure you have that energy right where you would come into contact with that balloon. You could also have your arms move back and forth. So those are some different ways you can show macro beats. And then if you can't do both at once, you can try micro beats. You can tap them in your hand like this. You can pat your hands in the air. You could pat your arms next to you. So if you can't do both at once, try the macro beats one time and then try the micro beats after that. All right, I'm gonna play Down Came a Lady. Would you please move to duple meter, duple meter macro beats and also micro beats if you can. dance for your fingers. Now let's do the triple meter song. Once I get my bench back. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Move with me. Bum, ba, bum. Sing with me. Triple now feel as we're moving in three, moving in three, moving in three. Triple now feel as we're moving in three, move now in triple with me. Can you please chant macro beats on do, 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 micro beats, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. I chant macro beats, you chant micro beats. Do, 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 switch with me. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. And stop. I'm going to sing French cradle song two times. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. The first time would you do a dance for your shoulders? you do a dance for two thumbs.
some rhythm patterns in triple meter and I'd like for you to echo them back. So this time as we move to macro beats, can you focus as we do our triple meter here on macro beat movement? So make sure you're getting it. You could get it like we said earlier in your toes with alternating heels going up. You could get it this way. I'm going to move like this. You pick a movement that you'd like to do. Do da de do. Echo me, please. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Thank you. All right. If you are not by a piano, go ahead and get yourself to a piano, a keyboard, whatever you have at home. Sit down, check your distance from the keyboard. So make sure that your knuckles are touching the fallboard if you have a fallboard like mine, or that your knuckles are all the way lined up with the back side of the keys. You're sitting nice and tall, your feet are flat on the floor or flat on a stool. And if your arm is like this, because you're sitting when you sit down, your arm is at this angle. Go ahead and sit on some books or on um, something that your parents will help you find that'll bring you about to here. So your arm is pretty stable, pretty level with the ground. So we're going to review from last time when C is DO. So if you don't remember how to find C as DO, go ahead and look in your book on page 45 and you will see on there how to find C. So once you find that, we're gonna go ahead and play softly all the C's on the piano. Go ahead. Now, go ahead and sit in front of the keyboard with your eyes closed and I'm going to say ready, set, play. When I say ready, open your eyes. When I say set, look at a C. And when I say play, play. All right, I'm going to show you. Ready, set, play. Now you try it with me. Ready, set, play. One more. Ready, set, play. This time we're going to review the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence when C is Do. We're going to just sing it first. Do, Mi, So, So, Ti, So, Fa, Le, Ti, Do, Mi, Do. If you didn't sing that with me, go ahead and join me. I'm going to sing it again. Do, Do, Mi, So, So, Ti. So fa re ti do mi do. Go ahead and play that using one finger. When you do that, make sure that you don't stick your finger out like this. Have your whole hand together, and whatever fingers are not playing are just resting there, resting with by your other finger. If you don't know which keys to, to use, go ahead and look at page 45. Move your whole arm. When you do the fingering, make sure you still use a separated touch. your whole arm. Feel like your entire arm is balanced behind every finger that you play. And this one, make sure you use your middle finger for re. And your ring finger is ready for do. We're also 
going to play a C major tonic arpeggio. Tonic arpeggio is when we play the notes of our tonic chord, do, mi, so, one at a time in more than one place or more than one octave. So we're going to play with the left hand first. hand to do and then when we sing we can sing the short version do mi so mi do or the long version do mi so do so mi do go ahead and try both versions for this one then if we look at the next page we're going to review the C major scale Remember that this is all of the white keys. C major scale is all white keys from C to C. Play again with one finger. Make sure your arm is helping you move from one key to the next. And then you can come back down. We're going to review the left hand first. If you look in your book, you'll notice that you've used all five fingers here before you get to the thumb crossing. So play all five. And you're going to cross over without twisting your hand this way. So cross over your thumb to La. And then finish the scale. If you can come back, play three notes and after La without twisting your hand, Gently move and cross your thumb on to so play so and finish the scale. For this hand, if you're starting out, if you're trying to review this and you don't remember how we did it last time, start at the top of the scale and it feels the same as the other hand. We play five keys, gently cross over to your middle finger on up to the top of the scale. Now when C is Do, T is going to be a white key. Can you help me sing? Bum, 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 bum. On syllables that's Do, T, Do, T. And let's play that on the piano. Do, T. So you get used to where T is when you're in C, when you're in C major. Now remember, when C is Do, A is La, which gets pretty low to sing. Can you help me sing? Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna sing that up an octave now. Bum, 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 bum. On syllables, that's Do, La, And when we play that on the piano, Do, la. we're now going to look at our tonic arpeggio and tonic dominant tonic cadence when A is La, which is on the very next page, 47, and we're going to play the A minor arpeggio, same thing as C major. La, just because that would get very, very high. And then we're going to play the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence, which if you haven't practiced saying that, I would practice saying it. That's a lot of words to spit out. Tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence. We're going to play that when A is La. Remember, start with one finger. note version of the dominant chord. We did just the three note version. So this time make sure you look in your book. We have la, do, mi, la, si. And then we also have mi, re, ti, si. Mi, re, ti, si. So go ahead and 
and look at that. See which keys you're going to use. Try it out with one finger. And then go ahead and try playing the whole cadence. Use the fingers that are there. Notice when you get to that four note version, there's a really cool fingering for this hand, for your right hand. Make sure you move your whole arm up and forward to get to that flat key. And then start with your ring finger on definitely want to see that when we have our group class check-in. Try that with your left hand as well. The fingering is the same as it is in C major. All right, now we're going to look at our exploration, creativity, improvisation for unit 18. We're practicing A minor. So we're going to start by finding every A on the piano. to chant a four macro beat duple meter rhythm pattern. We're going to improvise an idea using only notes from the A minor triad. That's what we just played. All right, so you can do any rhythm pattern you want in duple meter. I'm going to do this one. Do, day, do, do, ta, day, ta, do. So to me, that sounds like skipping down the street. Now go ahead and improvise an idea that sounds like a sleepy kitten. You can use the same rhythm pattern or a different rhythm pattern. You could do... Do, day, do, do, day, do. Make sure that when you try these ideas, make sure some of your ideas start on la, some of them start on do, and some of them start on me. And you won't just have two ideas because you're going to be doing this every day. So here are a couple of other things to try. We're going to do some exploration just in the middle of the keyboard. So find some notes in the middle area of the keyboard. Whatever you play, you can do anything. You don't need a rhythm pattern. Try something with contrasting dynamics. That means play something that's loud and soft. It can be anything. I'm going to use a rhythm pattern. Do, day, do, do, day, do. Anything, anything. Try something that uses separated and connected styles of articulation. I could use do da di do do do. Then try something. Try not even necessarily using a rhythm pattern. I would probably do this without a rhythm pattern first. Try things that use just one key at a time things that use two keys, things that use three keys. Explore as many different sounds as you can. So if you play one key, try some different keys. Notice how they sound. Now try some different groups of two keys. different types of sounds just using two keys. Try things that use three keys and you can do three that are right next to each other. And try some things that aren't all next to each other. See how many 
different kinds of sounds you can come up with by using one key, two keys, and three keys. And then if you want, you can add some rhythm patterns to those. But just take some time and explore different sounds that you can make putting those keys together. And then I'm going to give you a rhythm pattern. I'd like for you to chant it back, echo it with your voice, and then play it on F. So make sure you find an F. Just F, not the other keys I just played. Do da di do, echo me please. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And then one key. Ba 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 ba. Go ahead and try that just one or two times, and then we're going to do some review. We're going to review rope swing, which is on page 43. And here's what it sounds like. You don't remember from last time. Do da do, do here I go. Now there are a couple of things that I would like you to do differently than I just did. One is make sure you find the lowest keys and the highest keys that you need for the piece and sit yourself right in the middle so that you're very comfortable when you go to play the piece and you don't have to reach over like I just did. Another thing I'd like you to do is before you start to play, read the music information box. So at the top it says triple meter. For triple meter, go ahead and audiate that. So I'm already thinking, do da di do, do da di do, which happens to be the rhythm pattern of this song, though that's not always true. Major tonality, I'm thinking, do mi so mi do ti do, or do mi so so ti do mi do. Do is F, so I'm finding F, and I'm going to go ahead and play that cadence. and feeling the notes for F major and start on me. Do, me. And I also know where I'm going to begin. So find all of those things before you start to play. Then you can play again like I just did. Do, da, di, do. Play with me, please. Do, da, di, Last pattern is different. Mi, mi, re, do. Now I'm going to play the duet with you. And if you're ready, I'd like you to go ahead and play along. Do, da, di, do. Ready, play. going to track 38 on the audio tracks that go with this book and you can play along there. They'll play the student part first and then they'll play both parts. If you have not already done that, please practice this every day with the duet, either with that audio track or coming back to this part on the video. I'm guessing going to the audio track is going to be easier than finding all the way into this part of the video. And then make sure you also try playing this in a connected style and a separated style. So remember for a connected style, you're trying to walk between your fingers, still feeling your weight move back and forth. And for a separated style, you have a little bounce so that you have some silence in between each note. And we're also going to review Big Ben. This was a long time ago. This is on page 31. So for Big Ben, I'm going to show you the duet part. But before I do that, we're going to look at the music information box. It's in triple meter. Do da di do, do da di do. It's in major tonality. Do mi so mi do ti do. Do is G. I'm going to play my tonic dominant tonic cadence. And the 
and move my hand up. My melody starts on me, do, me. Find the keys that I need, sit myself right in the middle of those keys. Do da di do, here I go. Do da di do. And I'm going to show you now how to play the duet that goes with this. So if you see in this part of the page, it has the student duet. It shows you the fingers that you need. It shows you the keys that you need. And if you look at the keyboard, this is the part of the keyboard that you're going to be using for the duet. So go ahead and circle this in your book so that you can know where you're going to play. I'm going to show you first how to play the duet when the student part comes in. So when the student part comes in, you're going to play, you have do and so, all on do's. Do da di do, here's your duet. So when you break that apart, it's do, do, so, do, two times. sure as you play this you're still thinking do da di 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 otherwise you'll be very confused when the student part starts and then you also get to do the intro and your intro is do da di do do da di do and you play do do so do 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 so do your part with the student part so you know how it sounds. I won't be using the correct fingers for either part because I need, I would need four hands. So here's your part. You get to start. So are you ready to begin? Do da di do. try the student duet, try playing it with the student part, and you can do that either by coming to this place on the video or going to track 27 in the audio tracks that go with book one. We're also going to finish our review from unit eight. We're looking at root 76, which is on page 25. So for root 76, we had looked before at some things. Today, I'd like just to look at chanting, performing, and creating with the rhythm pattern for this song. So just as a very, very quick review, I'm going to show you what the student part is like, and then we're going to chant the rhythm pattern. So here are my lowest keys, here are my highest keys, do da di do, here we go. That rhythm pattern is do da di 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 do. To chant it, you do just that. If you're performing it, you keep track of that on one key. And I would hold up the fingers for patterns one, two, three, and four. keeping track of that rhythm pattern. I advise that whatever you do, 
keep the entire pattern in one spot to get yourself started. Like, if you keep the whole pattern together, it'll help you keep track of where you are in the song. If you're having no trouble whatsoever, you could try challenging yourself by moving around within the pattern. And that's the last thing probably for Unit 8. So if you have finished everything for Unit 8, please mark today's date on the lesson side for everything that you added. If you are all done, you can put the sticker over Unit 8 on the cover to show that you are finished with Unit 8. And then over on Unit 9, we're looking at Old MacDonald and County Fair. So for Old MacDonald, what I'd like you to try this week is connected style and separated style, and then loudly and softly. Remember, connected style, you're walking back and forth between your fingers, moving your whole arm, or in this case, you're also walking between your arms. This one's a little hard to play connected because there are a lot of repeated notes. So just do the best you can. Do, day, do, here I go. And then have a nice arm bounce when you have separated style. When you play loudly, make sure you've got plenty of energy that's releasing from your shoulder all the way down to your fingertip. You have some nice energy in your fingertips. When you play softly, you're playing very gently. It feels like all of that energy just floated away and you're dropping those very gentle arms all the way to the bottom of each key. So go ahead and try Connected, Separated, Loudly, and Softly for Old MacDonald this week. And then County Fair. I'd like to review the solo and performing with the duet for County Fair. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Do, da, do, do, here I go. So for this part, remember a couple of things. I'm going to show you a couple of things. So each tiny little pattern looks like this. Bum, bum, bum. So we have a repeated note in there. Watch out for the repeated note. And then you do that two times in each hand. When you do that, make sure that you're chanting do da di do da di in fact make sure you're chanting that introduction before you start to play otherwise you will be stuck in the duple meter trap there's a duple meter trap in this song as we have in many of our triple meter songs the duple meter trap is this if you don't chant you'll probably play it like this Which is not triple meter at all. It's do day do do day do <laughs> duple meter one out. So before you start, make sure you chant do da di do do da di do. Then keep chanting do da di do da di. you to go ahead and try playing that while I play the duet. There we go. Do da do ready play now. Do da di 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 do. The last thing we're going
going to do today is we're going to learn folk song from Wales. So before I have you turn there, I'm going to play the piece and I would like for you to move to macro beats and decide if you think the micro beats are moving in two, in duple meter, or moving in three, moving in triple meter. This song has a triple meter trap. This is actually in duple meter. So our county fair was triple with a duple trap stuck in it. This one is duple with a triple trap. So it sounds like maybe it should be do da di do da di. It's perfect. There are three syllables do da di do da di. But unfortunately, in triple meter, we don't hang out on D like that. Do da di, do da di. It goes do da di, do da di. So this is actually in duple meter. Do day do, do day do, do day do, do day do. Watch out for that. Can you go ahead and chant that with me while I play? Do day do ready chant now. Do day do do day do do day do do day do. Which is easier when I play the duet part with it. Do day do do day do do day do do day do. Now you can go ahead and turn to page. Drum roll, please. 49. Page 49 in your book, we're going to look at the music information box. It's in duple meter. Ta-da! It's in major tonality. Do, mi, so, so, ti. Do, mi, do. Do is F. So we're going to go ahead and play that same thing that I just sang. short version of our tonic dominant tonic cadence and the melody starts on do that gives us some nice information now let's sing some tonal patterns that are in this song and I'm gonna sing them on a neutral syllable go ahead and sing them back and then we'll sing them on our solfege bum, bum. Solfege. Do, re, mi. Do, re, mi. Re, do, re. Re, do, re. Re, mi, do. Re, mi, do. So listen for this. I'm going to show you where. Do, re, mi is. We're going to go searching for that. Do, re, mi, bum, bum, bum. Do, re, mi, bum, bum, bum. So in our two phrases, we have two phrases or two big sections of this song. Do, re, mi is the beginning of each of those phrases. Now listen, I'm going to show you the pattern that ends the piece. Bum, 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 re, mi, do. So we end with that mi, do. Which of our patterns sounds like an ending? I'm going to sing the whole piece and think about where does it sound most like an ending? 
To me, that very last pattern is the only one that really sounds like an ending. And if you had a different idea, I'd like to hear that as well. All right, so if you're not sitting at the keyboard with your book out, go ahead and do that, please. We found F already. We're going to use the F that's all the way in the middle of the keyboard. And you play the F major, tonic, dominant, tonic, cadence. We're going to go ahead and play those tonal patterns. Do, re, mi. Re, do, re. Re, mi, do. Let's go ahead and learn the very end of the song. Remember our rhythm is do, day, do, do, day, do. Do, day, do, do, day, do. So the very last phrase on re, mi, do. You go ahead and play that with me on do, day, do. Ready, play. Re, mi, do. Watch out for that mi, do. Right at the end. Now let's do the ending of this, the first phrase. Re, do, re. Go ahead and play that with me. Do, day, do, ready, play. Re, do, re. While you play these, it would be a wonderful idea to chant. Do, day, do, day. That's our second phrase ending. Or do, day, do, day. That's our first phrase ending. Now let's go ahead and play the whole song. We start with do, re, mi at the beginning of each phrase. I'll play it two times. If you're not sure what to do, you can join me the second time. Do, day, do, here I go. Now I'll play it again. This time I'll sing the patterns as I play. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, re, mi, re, do, re, do, re, mi, re, mi, do. Once you've practiced that and you're ready to go, come on, go ahead and come back here and I'm going to play the duet part with you. Do, day, do, Before we go today. We're almost done. I'm going to show you the tonic and the dominant chord changes for this song. You're going to start playing those. So we're going to go ahead and learn it as Do for the tonic chord and T for the dominant chord. It sounds like this. Do dominant changes. It shows you where do and T are, and it also shows you so, do, so. You could also play do, so, do, so, do. So go ahead and try playing those changes. Try playing that while you listen to the melody, either here on the video as you're watching me again, or on track 41 as they play the student part, try playing those changes. 
So for carousel, I'm going to go ahead and play the piece. You move to macro beats and micro beats and tell me if you think this is in duple meter or triple meter. See what you think. Go ahead and try moving in triple meter now. Do da dee do, here we go. So go ahead and look at the music information box for Carousel on page 50. It's in triple meter. Do da dee do, do da dee do. It's in major tonality. Do so di do ti do. Do is G. And we start on do. So this piece also has two phrases. And each phrase uses the same rhythm pattern. Would you go ahead and move to macro beats and micro beats and chant this rhythm? So the first rhythm pattern, both rhythm patterns are do da di do da di do da di do. So can you go ahead and move while we chant that? Do da di do. Ready, chant. Do da di do da di do da di do. Do da dee do da dee do da dee do. Echo these tonal patterns, please. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. show you these patterns by helping you answer some questions about this. So which pattern begins our first phrase? That pattern is do re mi bum 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 do re mi bum. It actually happens twice. Now where do we hear the pattern? Mi so bum 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 that pattern bum 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 so you can hear the two phrases together that pattern's at the end of our first phrase bum 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 me so what pattern begins our second phrase i'll sing just the second phrase Bum 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 bum. So that pattern is do re mi, do re mi, bum bum bum, do re mi bum. Just like in our first phrase, we hear that do re mi two times. Where do we hear the pattern mi do? I'm gonna sing you the second phrase. Bum 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 bum. So this is the ending of the second phrase. Bum 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 mi do. So our first pattern ended with mi so. Our second pattern ends with mi do. Which of our patterns sounds most like an ending? Do re mi. So, mi, re, mi, mi, do. Tell me what you think.
think when you when I get to see you at our group class check-in. Go ahead and come to the keyboard again if you're not already there. Turn to page 50. We're finding G in the treble or high area of the keyboard right here. So this is the G in the middle area of the keyboard and we're one higher than that. So you can see here which fingers you're going to use. You're going to have do, de, mi in this hand. You're going to have so in the other hand. If you already played it with me, you've played the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence when G is do. If not, go ahead and play that now. And we're going to sing and play some tonal patterns from this piece. Do, re, mi. Do, re, mi. Mi, so. Mi, so. Notice that's between your two hands. So go ahead and think about the starting key. The starting key is going to be do. So think about the finger that you're going to use for that. Here's our first pattern. It looks like this. Do, re, mi, so, so, so. Go ahead and play that with me while we chant microbeats. Do, da, di, do, ready, play. And then go ahead and practice that as many times as you would like. Now we're going to play the ending of the first phrase. So notice how the rhythm is different. Let's do the whole first phrase. Do da di do ready play. To watch, you can do it one more time and you can play with me this time. Do da di do, ready, play. Do da di do, da di do, da di do. Now let's just do the ending of the second phrase. It goes. Mi, re, mi, do. Go ahead and practice that slowly. So the second phrase is Let's go ahead and play that second phrase. Do da di do ready play. Remember the ending? Mi re mi do. We'll play the second phrase one more time. Do da di do ready play. the whole piece one time and then I'll play the duet part with you. Do da di do ready play now. I'll play the duet part with you. Do da di try to practice that solo part by itself. Try to chant the rhythm as you play. If you're ready, please play it with the duet part. And next time, we will look at the student duet. All right, just as a wrap up. So remember, review those pages in Unit 8 and Unit 9. That's Route 76. You're reviewing also Old McDonald and County Fair. I was going to say Carousel, but that's what we just played. Please mark everything that we've done today in the checklist on the left side of the page under the lesson side. Mark that with today's date. Practice those until you have another video to watch. So it should be about two weeks. Please listen regularly to the recordings. So listen to this unit 
on the audio tracks and listen to the pattern CD. Listen to the next unit on the audio tracks. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Always create something new every day. Chant the rhythm patterns when you play. It'll help you to avoid triple meter traps or duple meter traps. And remember that the assignments for this unit are on the first page of unit 18 on the bottom left hand corner that says book and listening assignments. Thank you so much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 1, Unit 18, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks!